We're going to do another jewelry bag, jewelry jar today. I'm hoping it's a good one. I'll get started by showing you my rings of the day first, and then we'll open up this $44.99 jar, which is already coming apart, as you can see here. All right, so the rings of the day, this is one my mother gave me. I love it. It's got like a little flapper lady on it, and she is all beautifully clad in Marcusite. This is a wonderful Fred Harvey era bell trading company ring that is the most beautiful color of turquoise i've ever seen it's a sky blue it's just amazingly pretty and then over here i have a very old inlay that i've had since i was a teenager and bought that directly at a trading post and another wonderful fred harvey era bell trading company ring and a tiny little turquoise love it though it's got wonderful stamp work all around it and it's just beautiful i love these rings especially the small delicate ones i think they're so pretty all of their little kitschy little motifs i rarely get them this cheap i rarely find them at that goodwill so i'm hoping we find some amazing things okay oh this is interesting oh that is pretty wow this is very damaged here. I don't know if I can get that cleaned up, but wow, is that not awesome? On the outside, you really can't see all of that. Very cool. That is really nice. There is some discoloration at the front too. I don't know what kind of metal that is. But regardless, I think it's still a stunning piece. <laughs> Quite a head turner there. All right, then... Here's a stretchy ring, kind of a bronze color anyway. Then we have, oh, this is a nice bracelet. I like these hinged bracelets. This is interesting. This has kind of a yellow gold and a blonde gold. Usually I see these in kind of a bronze, patinaed bronze color. So that's pretty neat. And we have a very solid piece here these are acrylic these are very pretty beads I like them they're kind of a moon glow look I would take these rose colored moon glow beads and make earrings and maybe even with those because all of these are acrylic but I really wouldn't want to reuse that what is this how'd that get in there that's interesting oh maybe it just went through there it goes that ribbon is quite sullied, so that's going to go on a crafter lot. Oh, those are cute. Very interesting with that leather and faux pearls there. Here is a watch. Prague. Prague is what it says. It's a heavy watch. It's really very nice. I'm not sure about the brand. I'm sure it's a department store brand of some kind. Here's a nice wooden one, but it is kind of tangled. I think I'm going to have to open up the mouth of this bag a little bit more. Okay. Oh, wow. This is real leather. That's pretty interesting. Real leather, some beads, wire wrapped or wire set there that's kind of cool i like when they're real leather you get a nice patina to them what is this okay a pin oh my gosh i don't want to mess that up looks like it got wrapped up in the tape over there it's very pretty i don't think i see any missing rhinestones and they're ab coated Looks like it might say Monet on there. Yes, Monet. I don't see any missing stones, do you? That's very pretty. It's got kind of a marcasite look to it. That's a pretty one. And somehow or another, they just wrapped the tape on that. I just gotta slip that off. I just wanna be very careful and not pull the pin out. That's beautiful. So that's a nice one. Okay, then we have another very worn bracelet. Again, I will try to clean some of that out. I'm not sure how much of that will come out. And this is just sequence on it. 
This is very cool. This kind of looks like those bendy bracelets, but this is a coil. You know, the ones that you can shape into anything as necklaces or, but this is not like that. This is not bendable. This is a coil and that's kind of cool. A coil bracelet. Let's see what else we have in here. Tiny little stud earrings in here. Almost look like body jewelry. They're beautiful actually. Because they're pretty interesting. Yeah, see how they have a little bar? Oh, they look like they're probably crystal. Look how pretty that is. They look like crystals or CZs. I think these are nose rings. Yeah, because see the little dingy. Wow, they're teeny. They are so small. These are definitely, I will sanitize my hands and someone can sanitize these and wear them, I'm sure. How interesting is that? I don't think I've ever found anything like this before. I wonder if any of them are gold. I'll have to look and see, because some of these, like these floral ones, I have seen in Asian cultures, not so much in the modern day pierced person. This is pretty. This is some mother pearl shell all around the bangle. Looks like it's set in stainless. It's a nice golden color. That's pretty. And this is the purple wooden one. This is very pretty. Oh, I love that color. Look how pretty that is. That is really well done as well. A little tangle, of course, but you get the gist. I love this purple. That is gorgeous. Very nice. Okay. This is very nice as well. This is a stretch. I love the look of this. This has kind of a pewter color, a gunmetal color. That's a nice look. That's a very nice stretch bracelet. And it's a very pretty earring. Let's put the earrings aside until we find some matches. Uno, Uno 50. And it's, this looks like sterling. It really does. I don't know what it means. Let me know if you know. It looks like it says Uno 50 there, and then it has some other little sun or something. Very interesting. This is not stretchy, so I don't know if that's the way they sell it. And you put it on necklaces or what? Let me know in the comments if you know. All right, another exotic piece. This is obviously for, I believe, an ankle, some kind of an anklet, probably for some kind of ceremonial dance or something. Isn't that pretty? It's got brass. It's got a genuine turquoise. This is turquoise. I don't know about the bead, but the other ones are definitely turquoise beads. All types. And definitely some coral in there. So that is cool. I guess you could even wear that as a choker. Honestly, it's not that small. That's really a nice sound, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'd rather wear it as a choker. I don't think it would make as much... Oh yeah, it's like a 15 inch. It fits me perfect. Fits perfect as a necklace. I think this is awesome. It's got a, and look, black stones too. Not sure if the black is onyx or what, but that's definitely turquoise beads. Let me straighten that out. That is so cute. Yeah, I think that's a choker, but you could easily wear it as an anklet too because it draws up. That is nice. Very cool sound. Okay, what is this? A big ring, I guess, for your keys. That's going to be recycled. A nice gold mesh. Another one in need of a cleaning for sure. That's from Express. So it's got a twisted. It's got a nice look, though. The mesh chain itself does not have any wear so we'll try to clean that up and it looks like it had something here at the end that's interesting and these look like some kind of hematite 
bead. That's interesting. They're beautiful art glass beads. They're all glass. These are somewhat encased. And then the blue ones are just a lovely blue. Black, and they're on a toggle. That's beautiful. I love the color of that. And what is this? Oh, I think it's broken. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, what a beautiful earring, too. I'm just loving the earrings. <laughs> so far, they're singles, but we'll see. Here's a huge tangle in here. Oh, my goodness. And it's worn. So how in the world do these happen is all I want to know. How does it happen? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Since it's worn anyway, and this is not that much of a big deal, but I just don't want to take the time right now to untangle it. This is just a little rubber br bracelet, I guess. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. A, I don't know, some kind of straw, some kind of woven. Looks like it says Bessie. Wow, a souvenir bracelet, I guess. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, a little assemblage. <laughs> How cute is this? A little sewing brooch. Wow, that is so interesting. People are so crafty, aren't they? Look at that. Okay, I'm pretty much done with these. I've gotten so many of these. This is a beautiful earring, too. This looks like a very nice little anklet. Yeah, this is an anklet here. This is pretty. It's all hearts. The rose gold. Really cute. Nice and weighty, too. Feels like a J. Crew or something. What a beautiful anklet in that rose gold. I really like that. Here is a key ring from Stackers. What is Stackers? coffee place it almost looks like a coffee place she's got a lot of coffees and things hmm interesting little key ring by the way key rings are big sellers i heard there was a show on whatnot where they were doing all key rings look at that pretty earring wow that's big and whenever i've sold them i have sold quite a few so i don't discount too many of them but some of them are kind of um mundane these this is pretty look how textured that is look how dimensional that is that's really pretty and it's got amber glass colored beads this is a carnelian necklace here with some kind of a carved stone I believe it's on silver tone silver tone pretty though Nice drop of carnelian there. Beat it all the way down there. Very nice. So that's pretty. I like that. Beautiful. And it's warm, but the color is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just chipping right off. Right off. I'm going to put that in a crafter lot. Someone can use that to make art or something. Okay, here's another little crystal necklace. It does have a nice set of beads there. Kind of simple. Young, young girl jewelry, I guess. What is this? More of a crafter piece. Pearls. Garbage. I'm going to skip over the garbage. I really am. I'm not going to show you some of the things that are just really trashy. What is this? After what? Aftershock. Another key ring. And an outstretched bracelet. Pretty beads, but outstretched. This is not turning out to be what I expected at all. This is very worn as well. Hey, some days are better than others that's all i can say that's all i can say some bags are better than others um, this is nice as long as it's not broken this is actually a pretty one i like the simple ones like this it's got a nice look very pretty it's like that web look to it 
very nice. It doesn't look as dated as some of our statement necklaces we run into. The keeper, I like that. Oh my gosh, what is this? The cross isn't enough. No, they have to add a, the pony hair. And uh, it's not real leather. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. One of those light up the Paul Mall style bracelets is what that reminds me of. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is uh, one of those wire necklaces. Again, nothing to write home about here on this one. I will put that in a crafter lot. Those beads are interesting. Someone can do earrings. Someone can do something more interesting than that wire. Here's a leather choker piece. And here's a pretty earring. Uh, let's see what else is going to pop out of here. Uh, so far, wow, I'm a little disappointed to say the least. These little choker pieces are fine for 10 year olds, but no, 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 no. No, I am not. This is a nice one. This is a really nice mesh chain. Black. Well done. Heavy. Long. This I do like. This is pretty. I'll just say this. I am glad I didn't pay over $40 for this. Because I am disappointed. So far, I can't believe all the broken things. I don't think I've ever run into so many broken things. Kid pieces. I, I just don't get it. Here's another piece that's tangled and marled and mangled and it's got a nice pendant, but um, that's about it. The chain is horrible. What is this? Does that open there? This is by Julia. It's like a nice piece of jewelry. It doesn't feel lightweight, but what in the world is it? It's like really tangled up. When I'm confused, it turns out to be two necklaces. There we go. Is it broken? I can't tell. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, it is broken. Yes. There's a chain that needs to be reattached. And then it has a drape there, a little pendant. And that is going in a crafter lot too. This is very, very interesting. Here's a little faux turquoise. A little wear on it. It's so disappointing to get jewelry that doesn't have anything salvageable. They should definitely put crafter on them. I'm going to tell her. She's been doing jewelry jars for a long time. I know her. I know her as the manager from that store for a long time. So I'll just, I mean, honestly, I will be very candid with her and hope that she is with me and just start buying only from the counter and avoid her jewelry jars because this is not acceptable. This is a crafter and she should, in my opinion, or I guess I should learn that if they are priced below $80, look at this $28. Gosh, I wouldn't have paid 10 for this but brand new retail. I don't know what it is. I think it's a necklace. I think that would be prettier as a headband. <laughs> So it's going in a crafter lot, and one of you should put it around a headband, and uh, maybe your granddaughter can wear it. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's just what I'll do. I did get the three jars from her store, and if they are all like that, which I have a feeling they are, uh, like I said, I, I'll just continue to buy from the counter alone and uh, not buy the jars again, because I'm going to definitely scramble to even make my $40 back here. Here's a little angel brooch that's broken. I think I had the match to this earring, but I don't really like it. I may just take off the hook because I always need gold tone hooks. Here's a Texas earring. Possibly be sterling, but maybe not. It's not marked. 
tiny though. Here are some hoops. Lots of tangles in here too. This is a very nice earring. No missing stones, but I'll bet we don't have the match. That's a gorgeous earring. So far we don't really have many matches on the earrings. This is beautiful. This is a really nice necklace. I like this. From Charming Charlie's. Or it has the two C's anyway. I don't know if we've ever settled that. <laughs> Some people say it is. Some people say it is not. I don't know, but that's a beautiful necklace. This I do like. This is very pretty. Okay, so we have one redeeming necklace here. <laughs> We've got some coin necklace here. This is interesting. Broken. Yeah, it looks like there is a piece hanging here that's missing. These do look like genuine coins. Ten cents, it says. I can't tell from where, but regardless, unless it's loose in the bag, it's kind of a moot point here. Central Reserves Republic Diez Centavos Banco Banco Central. Yeah, they're Peruvian coins. Peruvana. It says Peruvana on it, so. I love the chain. I will rescue this chain if I can because that is a very nice Rolo brass chain that I do like. And possibly, I could possibly fix that if the other coin section is there. I don't know, but that was a, that's an interesting necklace. More earrings, single earrings, not worth looking at, honestly. This is a nice little chain here, snake chain. It's vintage looking. It's got a, it's nice and long though. So these are very nice for watches, for watch pendants, for lockets, that kind of thing. I do appreciate a nice long heavy duty chain. No mark on it. Don't believe it's sterling. Be nice if it was, right? Silver tone. And oh, we've got some patriotic hearts. These are cute. They just have little, <laughs> little drops of paint on those. Those are cute. Perfect for 4th of July. Another broken chain. Yeah, I'm going to go see this lady on Monday. <laughs> and I am going to let her know my opinion of her jewelry jars. She's very nice. She's a very nice lady. And um, I think she will take what I say into consideration or if anything i just want it straight from the horse's mouth that her jars will be a mixture of craft these are pretty these are nice hoops not damaged and they are matched and they have rhinestones or um yeah little rhinestones on them they're very nicely done they look heavily plated so these are pretty so I know, you know, that way I can just get her her confirmation. Yes, my jewelry jars are going to be crafty. And you're going to get lucky if you find anything of value. This is pretty. I like this bead. Isn't that pretty? It's interesting. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> Look at that face on that person or creature. Is it the moon being cynical? I don't know. Look at that. These are cool. This cord is nice too. It's actually leather. It's a nice thick leather cord. Copper. It looks like it may be real copper, which is very nice because copper chains are not easy to come by. They really aren't. And I do have copper pendants that I can use. Here's our little bend though. Don't know how much that would affect it, but that's pretty nice. And oh my gosh, another tacky with a capital D. <laughs> Cross motif necklace. Can we give it a rest? Oh my gosh. Some people do like them though, so I don't want to insult anybody, but 
Oh my gosh, this is like way too much. This is attached somehow, so I'm not going to bust it. I don't want a mess of beads. But it's attached to it in here. I don't know how I'm going to take it out. Here we go, here we go. No, I'm just going to pull it out. The heck with it. <laughs> okay, there it went. All right, so here it is in all its tacky glory. And again, you know, be feel, feel free to express your opinion, guys. Just because somebody else likes something doesn't mean you have to, right? I, I don't, I don't get the animal print crosses. I just don't. I don't mind the multi crosses and, you know, many people think even turquoise is tacky. So do you, but there it is. And it needs a wash. It's very sticky crafter. Okay. Ridiculous things in here, honestly. This is a kid's bracelet. I believe it's from Claire's. It has little stars. Again, children's jewelry does not belong in these unless they're labeled. I just don't get why people throw in children's jewelry into lots unless you say so. I sell children's lots. Let me know if you want me to bring one. But I wouldn't put it in with the adult jewelry. This is another just a little Dollar Tree pearls and things. Here's a bee. Someone made a bee brooch. Pieces of junk. More pieces of junk. And here is some glass beads, crystal beads. Silver tone clasp. Very nice clasp, actually. And nice bracelet. Nice bracelet with some floral designs. I wouldn't call it Milifiori, but uh, very nice blue color on that. And those are crystal like beads. It could just be glass. And they don't have an AB coating or anything. The, oh my gosh, this is like tin. Really thin. But some people like really lightweight jewelry. I don't know. Not broken or anything, just very tinny. I don't even think it has an opening. Clasp. Really pretty beads. Green and pink. Those are lovely. Oh, this is pretty, but it's not genuine. Looks like um, chrysoprase. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I just realized how it's spelled. I've been saying, I think I've been saying chrysophrase. <laughs> and it's chrysophrase. Or maybe it's chryso chrysoprase. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But that's what it looks like. But it's just acrylic. It's pretty. This one's actually pretty. And I would probably iron that tassel out. Or if I really wanted to get crafty, I'd put another kind of drop on it. This is worn and done garbage not even recycling that not even putting it in a crafter here's an alex and ani daughter it says this one's actually in good condition and i know some of these are sterling but i don't know about this one doesn't look like it 2013 boy these were really popular weren't they i never really did get into them i do like the ones with beads though I like the ones with beads because they're genuine uh, gemstones. This is pretty. A little carnelian drop. And it looks like it may be a single as well. We don't know yet. Beads. These are crystal-like beads. And these are those other type of twist beads that were popular at one time. You'd gather them up and twist them and have every color. A huge bracelet. Uh, Kind of worn. I'd spray paint it. Kind of worn. It looks like it had some kind of a lace motif under it. Okay. Another very worn piece. This is truly a garbage bag. I'm, I'm very upset about it. I really am. I don't think I've ever gotten true garbage. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of 
unusable, unwearable, unsellable jewelry. Well, not unusable, but unsellable and unwearable for me or that I would want to relist or even offer at, you know, <laughs> bargain basement prices. That rarely happens. So it's been, it's been a while. I'm just, again, happy that I didn't pay over $40 for. These are all bent. They were in a package here. Some puka shells. Now these are valuable on eBay if they're not broken and if they are genuine puka shells. Usually these are, with the vintage ones, are usually in barrel closure. So it looks like uh, this might not be as vintage as some. But the really white ones and the ones that have a barrel closure, you can get a good $40 from them on eBay. Okay, here's a USA necklace. That's tangled up in there. These are pretty. These I do like. They are yellow enameled, gold tone, lightweight, big hoops. Those are a good one. And what else? More single broken earrings. Single or broken. <laughs> Either one. This is a chain. It's in good condition, but it's just a chain. Short little chain. Then this is... What is this? I think this was a piece of that necklace. I'm going to throw that in the crafter lot. This pearl thing is interesting, but again, I think someone cut off the ribbon. People were doing that ribbon thing, weren't they? Was that in the 90s? 2000s? When was that? Pearls come and go, don't they? I mean, as far as popular culture, they're classics, of course. No one in particular brought them back. Not, Kam not Kamala, not... Not Jackie Onassis, not Barbara Bush. Pearls are classics, but when did they bring these with ribbons? And I remember, I guess it was the early 80s, people were really draping themselves in pearls uh, with the Madonna album cover and everything. That brought that as well. This really ben would benefit from redoing because this is a nice strand of pearls. So if someone wanted to, they could easily put a chain on that, and that would make a very nice classic look there. And they're heavy, and they're even knotted. No, they're not knotted. They have little beads in between. But they're a nice glass pearl. It's a costume ring. The stones are there. It's got a little beveled yellow stone there. That's it there. adjustable look at my hands oh my goodness this is a little religious and it does have a genuine pearl a little freshwater pearl and it says uh, she is clothed with strength and dignity and it's got a dangle cross and a pearl nice big medallion and here's a broken oh my goodness this is a real abalone very pretty. Too bad that's not a ring. Even silver tone, that would have been pretty. But that is broken. And more single earrings. I'll look at those in a minute. I hope I didn't get too much out of frame. I was getting a little flustered with the garbage bag. <laughs> this is a Brighton. I can tell that's a bright and so pretty. Again, a single earring. That is such a pretty little earring. This is, I don't know how this goes. Strings and strings of things. Oh, this is a big knot. Mm. Another single earring. Oh, oh, see, we got a knot. We got some notification here. Tangulation. Oh my goodness, okay, let's get through this. Here is some amethyst. Oh, this is cute. This is vintage. This, they put the cross on there. 
I think this might be sterling. This is really pretty. I think I would have liked it without the cross because the cross seems to be a different color, though it does look like an abalone. And um, the purple, actually, it may not be amethyst. It's probably just glass. But the purple birds are so pretty. This is on a barrel clasp. So I'm thinking it might be vintage and it might be sterling. These were pretty common to be made in sterling silver. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I would probably replace the cross though. I think I would clip the cross off of it, especially if it's sterling, because this really stands out as not being sterling. But I do love those little purple fetish birds and they appear to be dyed shell. Another ring. Oh my goodness. This was, this was made by a someone in their garage what do you call those people that do woodworker <laughs> some woodworking here <gasps> yeah it's got like little grains or something inside it's very interesting it's they did some kind of a epoxy or whatever that's called interesting and it is adjustable wow here is a very pretty hoop single okay blue glass beads rhinestone beads kind of blackened pearls as well and I believe there are earrings to match there they are so if we can find the other earring that would be a nice little set right very heavy really well done too we don't see a maker on it but it's it's done nicely oh my gosh another tangled mess oh i'm just gonna tear it up because it's messed up anyway okay we've got a bracelet here that's actually kind of nice it is snakeskin or leather is embossed it could be faux kind of the color of coral broken necklace it was actually very pretty at one time looks like um Azurite, faux azurite, of course. So that's going to go, and all of these are acrylic. That'll be in a crafter. Okay. This is a little worn on the clasp. This is interesting. It's a big, rich piece. It's got rhinestones that are all there on this chain. It's got blue beads of two or three shades, and it looks to be in good condition. I love that turquoise color in there. Gold chains, silvery gunmetal, but they have strands of rhinestones on them. And, of course, this little display does not give it any drape effect that's it there I think that could be fairly nice the only issue with this one is the discoloration on some of the findings there maybe I'll just throw it in a jewelry jar my jewelry jars will not have broken items they will not have children's items they will not have items that are missing rhinestones the only thing that I put in my jewelry jars are wearable, sellable, lovable jewelry. I don't want you to ever be disappointed in anything that I call a curated jewelry jar. This is beautiful because it's the USA and it has two hearts and it's really sweet. I think it's aluminum or tin or silver talent it's probably from claire's as well but god bless the usa there it is there awesome these matched up okay i wouldn't say there's any wear on them but uh, they do need a cleaning they do need a clean i think they're supposed to look kind of patina there i think they're supposed to have kind of a weathered appearance so those aren't bad we have some kind of gemstone here single earring though Broken piece of rhinestones. I will put that in my harvest rhinestone lot. More of these beads that you twist 
and add shorteners to. That's going in my crafter lot, even though it's not broken. Oh my goodness, more tangles, more tangles. Where are the scissors? Because I am tearing it up. Tearing this garbage up. Get it out of here. Oof. Some kind of a chain on leather. Don't even know. Don't ask. Okay, this is... Over town chain. This probably came on a blouse. <laughs> oh, it says Donna on it. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea why someone would put two lobster claw asp on a necklace. That's a pretty earring, but it's single. Another single earring. And what do we have here? Let's unhook this. Get it out of its misery. Okay, there it is. This is not very clean. It is a nice look. I may try to salvage it. I don't know. It is from Talbot's. I may try to clean it, see if I can, but I'm kind of scared of cleaning the pearls, especially faux pearls, because they can tend to lose their finish. Now, I think I'm just going to put it in a crafter instead. This was a nice necklace at one time, but it does have a lot of wear. Isn't that pretty? These look like little genuine South Sea colored pearls. But All right, we did get these matched up, but they're really, they're actually pretty. I'm going to wash those. I think they're wood and some kind of amber bead or moon glow. Those are pretty, and they do have brass findings on those. I like those earrings. I'm trying to scrabble. I'm trying to scrabble at what I can salvage from here. Mediocrity at best. Garbage, actually. That's pretty. There's that, like a garnet look there. And that's by White House Black Market. That's pretty. Looks like garnets. It looked red a minute ago, now it looks black. I can't tell. I think it's actually black. And again, that's White House Black Market. It's got a nice extender as well. There's the hallmark there. Faux pearls here, kind of mint. This looks like someone's project, but it's actually White House Black Market as well. I think it just got wrinkled. I'm gonna have to wash that and hang it to dry. <laughs> And then maybe it'll straighten itself out because it's actually a pretty necklace, but see how it got all wrinkled? That's a White House black market as well. There's the other mark. Well, all I can say is stay tuned. <laughs> here's another, here's another interesting piece. Oh, we did get that match to this earring. Yeah, here it is. These are Charming Charlies, I believe, aren't they? No, yeah, Char Charlotte Russe. Charlotte Russe. Boy, Murray, when are these from? When did they bring these button earring styles? Interesting. What is this? Harry Potter? Twinkles? What is it? TMS? W Bell? I don't know. And it's a long, heavy brass chain. That's that. Then so we've got another medallion here that's tangled kind of a lightweight piece on the chains they're not very heavy this is all like embedded beads they're not even set or looks just like some kind of metal work on that and the chain is still in good condition except for the end of it it's kind of brassy that's a charming charlie's as well and I think I'll put that in a crafter lot. Oh my goodness, I can't contain my disappointment. I really can't. I really am going to have to scrabble in here. I'm hoping some of these earrings will be in the other. This is a Brighton. I think I can clean that up nicely. I think it's a Brighton. Um, this was a very nice earring too. I was hoping to find a match to it. The Monet was nice. This necklace was nice. The yellow. Emerald hoops were nice. 
I guess you could say I got a few things that were worth $10, four things that were worth $10, because I did pay $40 for it, but I was not expecting so much broken jewelry, and I'm definitely going to let the manager know. I'm going to ask her if that's the way she's going to do them. I, I would hope that she would say, yes, we're going to mix them up with garbage. <laughs> extra garbage <laughs> regardless it was fun i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos i have several in the bank be sure and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please hit the notification so you never miss another video thank you so much Bye bye